Hey everybody, this is Ernie at Paul Sawyer Public Library. And for this week's tech video, I'm going to talk to you about a service the library provides called Interlibrary Loan. Uh, what Interlibrary Loan does is basically if there is a book that we don't have in the collection that you want to read or that you need for research, something like that, we can ask other libraries if they have a copy and if they would be willing to send it to us for you to check out from us. Uh, we actually ask libraries from all over the nation. Most of the time we can find them right here in Kentucky, but basically if there is a book that we don't have, we can take a look and see if we can get it for you. So on the main page, if you go to Library Services tab in the menu there at the top, Interlibrary Loan is going to be in the list, probably third down from the top, Interlibrary Loan. Now I'll take you to the Interlibrary Loan form. So there's a few things that you need to know first before you start. One is that books have to be at least six months old, and that's just because libraries generally don't like to send out newer books because they want their own patrons at their own library to kind of have first shot at checking those, those newer items out. So if it's newer than six months, can't borrow it for you. We only do print books. Uh, we don't do audiobooks or movies, anything like that, just books. You can't renew the item, so if you need it for a long period of time, you may have to request it several times, and that's just because when we get the books, we need to send them back to the owning library when they want it back, and so we can't really renew it to you. We need to send it back to, to the library that it belongs to. One of the last things is that if you are, for instance, wanting a series of books or more than one book, you need to fill out a separate form for each book. So you don't put, say, three or four different book titles there in the book title uh, form section. Just have to have, we have to have one per form. So if you go down to the form, it's pretty simple. All we need is your name, uh, the title of the book, and the author. Now, if you aren't completely sure about the author, that's okay. You can just put um, N.A. or something there. Generally, the title is enough to be able to find the book, but if it's a fairly common title, generally you're going to need the author just because we need to know which particular book it is that you're looking for. And that's kind of one other thing about interlibrary loan. You can't necessarily request a general broad topic of books, say if you put in a request for LSAT books. And that's just because there are so many different kinds of LSAT books, and, that, and we even have some in our collection. So if there is a specific LSAT book by a specific author that you want, that's fine. But uh, requesting to get a general kind of book doesn't really work because when we ask for books from other libraries, we have to ask for a specific book, specific title that that library has on their shelf. So whenever you request a book, make sure that it's a specific book, specific title, specific author that you're asking for. Last thing is near the bottom, you can choose whether you want to be notified by phone or email. Once the book arrives from the library, you will get a call or an email letting you know that it's ready for you to pick up. We'll also let you know if for some reason the book is not available or the li there were no other libraries that could send it. That'll happen sometimes if it's a particularly rare book or if it's a book that was not widely published. Lots of independently published books are hard to find just because there weren't a large number of libraries that purchased the book for their collection. So that's pretty much it for Interlibrary Loan. Uh, it's a great service. Lots of people aren't necessarily aware of it, but um, it's, it's something that we like to provide because if it's a book that you're wanting and we don't have it, we want to make sure that you can still read it if you're wanting to. Uh, if you have any questions about this, be sure to ask us like usual. And if there's something that you're looking for, be sure to ask and we'll find it for you. Thanks a lot.